What's what's up, Nasugi? She's just too mean for me. Like I like to sound the thing, but she goes too hard. Hey you, eh? I'll look up to see Nasuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? No. There isn't that much time, so. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just. Nasuki glances down at her side. She's holding the volume up. Ah. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but can, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez, are you making me feel like a jerk? Is something bothering you? Then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. <laughs> now, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've been thinking about Sayori, that's all. Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seemed pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help to wonder if something happened to her. Oh. That's Sugi herself. Well, first of all, you should be really working on... You should really work on your phrasing. What are you fucking talking about? That's the girl that, that makes what? Fucking... Four, four word poems? Stop. But anyway. You're, you're her best friend, right? I, yes. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. You think? Oh, that should be true. I should hear her. She's my best friend, like, she should tell me. She shouldn't leave me guessing. If she needed you, then... You would be the first person she would go to, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it will be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Nasuki fiddles with the book she's holding on in her hands. She? She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Um, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's not normal. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Oh shit, I skipped one. Whoops. I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out of my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands and then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. <laughs> hey, I'm not that careless. I mean, I, I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't get people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyways, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? And then Suki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Ah, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found Monica. The Suki's voice resonates out of the inside of the closet. Huh? I peer inside. All the Nasuki books are lined up in the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Ah, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking out so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around to clean up a little bit. It's all still here. I just had to organize it a, a bit. Ah! The top shelf is far above from the Suki's head. She makes a future hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez. This is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on the tea shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Ah, Nasuki. There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsed stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I, I can reach up there and hang them uh, to you. I can get them myself. 
Natsuki grabs a stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too sure or something? I mean, I knew it! Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops on the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because it's collapsible design. Ah, careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the stool, Natsuki fingertips reaches the top shelves. The stool would be enough for me easily. No, the stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books. But Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Um, Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls on the floor. The stool wobbles. Wah! Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Ba -na -na -na. There. Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it. I don't want your help, okay? Sorry. I'm gonna get a chair. Just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the classroom. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit in the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it out of the. She rolls it on its wheels back over to the classroom. Ah! It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls, but I already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Uh, Natsuki climbs onto the chair Then slowly balances onto her feet Since she refuses my help I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway And simply watch Oh shit Ah There we go See I can easily do it now Natsuki grabs a stack of manga And bends down to put it on the shelf below What what the chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was I? Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can. I can almost see up her skirt. I shouldn't be doing this. Hello? Good. I forced myself to turn away. Now, Suki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realized, I'll be dead. Oop! Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait girl's box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. Ah, uh, heavy. Hey, Sai. I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry, take this one. Eh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry. All right. Let me just stand up. I saw you release my grip from the chair. What do you mean stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Eh? Natsuki looks like she just realized something. But she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, Natsuki, the box. What are you looking at? You're trying to look at my, my. Natsuki's legs shake. I'm not. I would just. Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. You. You perm! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But I'll do it myself! Ah! The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Ah! The scene turns into chaos for in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying! I got you! Ah!
the full force of Mitsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms at hers as her face lands straight onto my chest. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Uh, slowly, Nasuki comes to her senses. Good. She presses her arms straight into my prop, into me to prop herself up. Eh? Nasuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Good. Gross! Ah! A fist pounds into my chest. Ugh. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko? Everything okay there? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica! See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. I did it! Somehow, it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know. Don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh, no. My, my. Huh? I look down. Natsuki is sitting on the floor holding one of the books that, that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she desperately trying to smooth out. Aw, that sucks. We must land it on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gets up and slams the book shut, then throws it on the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Is she crying? This really means a lot to her, huh? Nasuki, are you... No! Oh, she is fucking crying. Natsuki's voice squeaked. I see tears on her face. Ah. I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shares her head, still looking down. No! I don't even care that much. I'm just... Having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. Didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It's it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day. It's so hard. I just want to come to the club and Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her to, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help you clean this up. And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Ah. I pick up volume 2 at Parfait Girls. Well, we'll set this one aside. This, this, this way don't, this will help her cheer, this will help her cheer you up. I can't talk right now, fucking A. This will chill you up in a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Aww. Her lip quivers. You're you're really nice to me. Huh? That sounded really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect that at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <laughs> Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple of minutes are signed between us and I, uh, as, as us, wait, can't read it, signed between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. 
I make sure to slip them into a box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done and hoist the box onto the shelves where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of the books from the top shelf. Alright. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. Alright, I'm ready. Good! Even if you're ready, I'll make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. What? Responsible. Fuck! All these girls are sad as shit! Like, Suyori's so getting sad out of nowhere. And she's sad from the gate. And the other one thinks I'm dumb and, and hides the word herself and bread. If you insist. We sit in the same spot as last time, and I open the second volume. Natsuki's moved quickly and proves laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note a lot of subtle repeat jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has a good taste after all. After some time, Monika gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know. <laughs> Told ya. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and sip, uh, slip the book into my bag. Sip the book? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, shit. Ah. Uh. Oh, this is... This is a bitch. I already made points with Natsuki. She can... She can... Fuck. 